Greetings, you're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. I wanted to take some time this week to look back at some records that I didn't have an opportunity to talk about, some stuff that dropped over the course of the last month or so. And I want to kick this off by starting with Spencer Krug and his new record, 2020, 2021. That was released on June 17th. This is the second solo outing for the Wolf Parade frontman and his follow-up to last year's Fading Graffiti. And like its predecessor, all of these songs are coming from a, a series that he did on his Patreon. He started releasing songs on a monthly basis, taking advantage of his home studio and certainly taking advantage of all the time that we had during lockdown. These songs obviously coming from 2020 and 2021. But this is a man that like he doesn't sit still. He's always involved with something. You look at what he does outside of Wolf Parade, and it's, it's wild. It's amazing that he even finds time to do that, especially now that he's a father. Um, and that's a, a big part of what's going on in this project. What I like about this particular record is that unlike its predecessor, Fading Graffiti seemed to have more of a polished indie rock feel. And this new record really has this chill sense of austerity that it rides. I love the feel of this record. A lot of minimalism on this thing. There's definitely some great songs where you get some balance as far as you know layers and textures and the way that they fill out. So I like that dynamic on the record. I like the contrast there. But what I really love is that you know in those moments of minimalism, the the instrumentation that's present is spectacular i mean nothing lacks purpose on this record everything that comes in and out of a song just it, it sounds completely organic like it belongs there and I, I think spencer with regards to this record is just absolutely killing it uh with that and i really like the percussion too you'll notice a lot of different percussion and uh, and i like the way that that is incorporated throughout this record this this album's just got a marvelous feel too this guy you know, he's got his uh, his typical lyrical sensibility on display with this thing. He is uh, an interesting dude, and his his <laughs> his lyrics definitely they ride this wave of introspection, and it's uh, it's almost <laughs> it's almost difficult to decipher because he can be so cryptic and so obscure, and uh, and very poetic in a lot of ways. Still, honestly, listening to him lyrically reminds me of reading the back of like one of Bob Dylan's early records. If you ever listen or like just read the poet, the poetry that he's writing on the back of those, it's uh, that's exactly what I'm reminded of when I listen to this guy. But this record, you know, it's certainly uh, focused on that on the idea of isolationism, you know, given the time frame it was written in. Thankfully, it doesn't feel like a COVID record. That's what I dig about it. But there's um, a sense of optimism to it, which I like about that. And that's talking about him being a parent now. As, as a parent, I feel like no matter what, I mean, you've brought someone into the world and, you know, the world, you want that to be a good place for them when you're gone and they're still around. So I definitely think that that is a, a very natural thing. It has a, a strong presence in this record, pr provides a great contrast and balance for it. And I just think that overall the field is, I like this project more than Fading Graffiti. I just think that there's just a, a sense of intimacy here with this record. And you can you can feel that. I'm loving, where, there's a lot of projects that people took advantage of home recording studios if they had them available, if friends had them available, and, and made some really intimate, raw music. And I feel that way about this record. I think it's got an excellent feel for that reason. Slipping in and out of the pool is your first track. It's mostly uh, mostly acoustic, excuse me, uh, minimal conventional instrumentation. And by that, I mean like guitar, bass, drum, you know, just some of that stuff. But it moves in and out. And like I said, it's it's not like you just get this consistent, you know, run of instrumentation for a few minutes. There's like I just I love the way that you get these pockets of drums and pockets of guitar and all this different stuff going on. There's great synth elements on this thing. Uh, I just really pleased with that uh, that aspect of this record. How we how we have to live. Excuse me. Is your second track percussion driven? I really like that element of this track. The guitar works in, and I just got to pull up one of my favorite lyrics from this particular song. I just I absolutely love this uh, this lyric. Give me a moment to find this. I love this. I sometimes wonder if I haven't in some ways already died. Then I think, of course I have. And so is any person who just burns to stay alive. That's just like that's that's some really good stuff on display there from him. And you know, when he has those moments of obscurity where he's kind of drifting into some of that awkwardness, he can always bring it back with something like that that really cuts to the core. And I just that lyric, I'm really impressed by that and had to take the time to read that for you. Cut the eye holes out so I can see is your third song. Got a really prog rock driven song here i love the spacey synth element to it this is one of my favorite songs this thing is a big track it's really cool i love the different instrumentation on this thing and it's a fine example of i'm just a, a a good 
a good composition where you see all these things move in and out and everything just has its proper place and it feels like it belongs there. Just so well done. My Puppeteer is your fourth track. This song feels like psychedelic Neil Diamond. I'm just going to just going to say it. That's like the first thing that I immediately thought of when I was listening to this song. It's got a good feel. I'm a big fan. Bone Gray is your fifth song. This is definitely uh, probably one of the more experimental tracks on this thing. It's got this definitely like jazz and pop influence feel to it psychedelic soft rock as well spoken word vocal on this thing also it's a cool track though i like the i like the feel I like the way that it mixes up the 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 overall feel of the record honestly my muscles are fine is your sixth track it's got this great just raw acoustic and vocal feel to it neutral milk hotel is what i was feeling on this song it does get a little wordy on this one just uh drop a quite a few f-bombs but it's uh, it's still a great track and i like i like i think that uh the presence of uh of the wording there is necessary there's just a rawness to this track this um almost kind of just this fighting spirit of like yeah you know it's uh it, it deserves a rawness i appreciate it overcast afternoon your seventh track it's uh vocal it really dominant with this uh really nice electric guitar instrumentation that comes in very minimal here i really like the the contrast there from my muscles are fine which is acoustic driven you get the electric driven guitar on overcast afternoon new kind of summer love Great song. It's sludgy but ambient. I really like the feel and the contrast on the song there. It's a good dynamic. Lots of great texture on this song. This probably is the finest example of of uh, Spencer really dabbling in that realm on this particular record. Hanging Off the Edge is your ninth song. This song is incredible. Um, as much as I love Cut the Eye Holes Out So I Can See, um, I think that this is my favorite song. It is just him and a piano, and it's just incredible what he's doing on this song. I don't want to say anything else about it. I think that... Uh, this is probably going to be one of my favorite songs in the year and if you listen to anything on this just take the time to check out that song because it's it's really really good chisel chisel stone stone is your closer this is a, a cool song it's got this just light synth driven psychedelic feel to it it's jaunty as well it's got this great little bounce recitative vocal on this thing as well this is a great project i really uh, just enjoyed this i like the i like the uh, again the the difference that it has with fading graffiti which is a great record but i, I think that it's it's excellent that they both have their own feel but if you're gonna make me pick one i just i like the raw feel of this particular record and it just has a uh i think it's just got a uh you know just a, a feeling that's going to resonate with people you know more after the last couple of years and all of our experiences though so vinyl please on this thing for sure hope you find this review helpful hope you enjoy listening to this record please like this video share it subscribe to the channel do all the things to help me blow this project up in 2022 and stay tuned throughout the week for more album reviews we will see you next time on The Beat Sessions.